Good morning guys, welcome to our channel, Automation Academy. Our topic for today, National Electrical Code, Wiring Requirements and Protection. Question number one. In a single phase, three-wire electrical system, the hot conductors are referred to as which of the following? A. Neutral conductors, B. Grounded conductors, C. Nominal conductors, D. Ungrounded conductors. Correct answer is D. Ungrounded conductors. Question number two. A single family dwelling has three bathrooms each with the following. A lighting fixture, a fan, and one receptacle outlet. In one of the bathrooms, the lighting fixtures, fan, and receptacle outlet are installed on a dedicated 20 ampere circuit. For this dwelling, the minimum number of 20 ampere circuits required to serve the bathrooms is which of the following? A2, B3, C4, D5. Correct answer is A2. Question number 3. The current flowing through the neutral of a 120 slash 240 volt three wire single phase electrical system is calculated as which of the following a the difference between the current of the two ungrounded conductors b the sum of the current flowing on the two ungrounded conductors c the current of the first ungrounded conductors divided by the current of the second ungrounded conductor D, 240 volts divided by 120 volts. Correct answer is A, the difference between the current of the two ungrounded conductors. Question number 4. The exposed non-current carrying metal parts of a handheld cord and plug drill must be grounded in which of the following scenarios? A. The power source is greater than 150 volts to ground. B. The drill is for residential use. C. The drill is being used in a hazardous location. D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 5. The bonding jumper between a supplemental electrode and service equipment shall not be required to be a larger than which of the following? A. Number 12 B. Number 10 C. Number 8 or D. Number 6 Correct answer is D. Number 6 Question number 6 If a rod electrode is required for grounding purposes and a layer of rock restricts the rod from being driven into the ground which of the following alternate methods of installation shall be used? A. Connect to the nearest steel section of the building. B. Connect to the metal water main. C. Bury the rod in a trench which is a minimum of 2 and a half feet deep. D. Bury the rod in steel conduit with a minimum of 18 inches of cover. Correct answer is C. Bury the rod in a trench which is a minimum of 2.5 feet deep. Question number 7. The maximum overcurrent device size required to protect a 5 foot length of 1 inch liquid tight flexible metal conduit with no equipment grounding conductors and ground listed fitting terminations is which of the following? A. 30 amperes B. 40 amperes C. 60 amperes D. 120 amperes Correct answer is C. 60 amperes Question number 8 Terminals connected to a grounded conductor shall be identified in which of the following ways? A. Identification shall be substantially white in color B. Connection must use a terminal screw that is not readily removable and is green in color. C. Identification must include 
an engraved metal tag T none of the above correct answer is A identification shall be substantially white in color question number 9 the receptacle example listed below which may be connected to a small appliance front circuit is which of the following a garage ceiling receptacle for an automatic garage door opener b any receptacle which is within 20 feet of the kitchen c an electric clock plug in at the dining room d an electric hair dryer correct answer is c an electric clock plug in at the dining room question number 10 Open conductors which are not service entrance. Cables shall not be installed less than which of the following. A. 3 feet from grid level. B. 6 feet below grid level. C. 8 feet below grid level. D. 10 feet be from grid level. Correct answer is D. 10 feet from grid level. Question number 11. The service disconnection means in a building shall not have more than how many switches or circuit breakers? A. 6 B. 8 C. 10 D. 20 Correct answer is A. 6 Question number 12. The total number of ungrounded conductors for an outside lighting circuit on a single common neutral conductors is resolved the following A6 B8 C there is no limit specified D ungrounded conductors specified in this example are prohibited correct answer C there is no limit specified question number 13 if an individual 30 ampere branch circuit feeds a single non motorized equipment receptacle, then the receptacle amperage must be which of the following A 20, B 30, C 40, D none of the above. Correct answer is B 30. Question number 14. Conductors run in parallel raceways must have equipment grounding conductors which are in which of the following A. Run in individual raceways B. Supported every 6 inches C. Run in parallel in each raceways D. Protected from excessive temperature Correct answer is C. Run in parallel in each race way. Question number 15. A surge arrestor of less than 1000 volts nominal shall have a ground connecting conductor which is no smaller than which of the following sizes? A. Number 8. B. Number 10. C. Number 12. D. Number 14. Correct answer is D, number 14. Question number 16. When there is more than one nominal voltage system in the building, and grounded feeder conductors must be which of the following? A. Connected through a transfer switch. B. Separately identified. C. Run in individual conduits. D. Identified using the same color. Correct answer is D. Separately identify. Question number 17. In a three wire single phase electrical system, the nominal voltage must be 120 volts between the ungrounded conductor and the neutral. And the volts between the two ungrounded conductors must be which of the following? A. 120 volts. B. 240 volts. C. 288 volts D. 600 volts Correct answer is B. 240 volts Question number 18 In a single phase, 
G wear electrical system, the metal conductor must be which of the following? A. Hot. B. Grounded. C. Ungrounded. D. Out of phase. Correct answer is B. Grounded. Question number 19. One building is supplied power from another building on a non-industrial property with a single owner. The underground feeder is protected by a 100 ampere circuit breaker in the first building. Qualified persons are not always available to service the installation. Therefore, the disconnecting means for the second building must be which of the following? A. Located inside the second building and is not required to be located near the point where the conductors enter the building. B. At the closest practical point where the conductors enter the building and may be located either inside or outside the building. C. The circuit breaker in the first building. D. Located on the outside of the building near the point where the conductors enter the building. Correct answer is B. At the closest practical point where the conductors enter the building and may be located either inside or outside of the building. Question number 20. Single point grounding is allowed at the source of separately derived system when which of the following conditions exist. A. A separate equipment grounding conductor is provided at each building and enclosure. B. The, ne the neutral is insulated and isolated from it except at one location. C. An equipment grounding conductor is run with the phase conductors. D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 21. When measuring the area of a dwelling in order to determine the lighting load, the outside dimensions are used, which include any porches, garages, or carports. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Question number 22. The continuous load supplied by a branch circuit shall not under any circumstances exceed 80% of the conductor's capacity before any directing factors are applied. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Question number 23. The computed load of a feeder must be 75% or less than the sum of the loads on the branch circuits after any directing factors are applied. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Question number 24. Under certain conditions, a feather neutral may be smaller than the ungrounded conductors in a wiring system. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question number 25. Brand circuit rating is determined by size of the overcurrent device. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe to our channel automation academy and comment down below and don't forget to share the love thank you for watching guys bye bye